Hey folks, welcome back to the Bar Garden. So today I'm going to be covering a transplant out of an Aero, gar Aero Garden 7 Pod Ultra into a 5 gallon deep water culture system. Pretty much the same technology. Uh, so these uh, green pepper plants are about uh, 120 days old. Um, I'm just going to pluck one out for now because I only have one spare bucket at the moment. Um, the other two will come out in a little bit here, but uh, they are totally starving for space. and. Uh, if you take a look at the roots here, you can see they're, they're a big ugly mess. It's not going to be a fun chore to pluck one out. So I'm going to be uh, pulling out the biggest one. And uh, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here so you guys can watch the roots a little more while I uh, go through separating them. All right. Now you're going to have to bear, me, bear with me here, it's uh, just me by myself and uh, this is a pretty big plant and a lot of roots and I'm trying not to spill a lot of water. Alright, so I'm going to take this one on the far right here. I try and separate it by hand as much as I can. They're they're pretty woven in there. I don't think I'm really going to be able to get much out. Look at that, that wasn't bad actually. Now uh, squish the roots down so they fit through the hole up above, otherwise when you go to pull the plant out it'll get snagged and won't want to come out, you'll be fighting it again. And then you toss all the roots back in and set the top back down. Alright, now I'm going to zoom back out here. Now, uh, this deep water culture system, I've got a few um, clay pebbles in there right now, up to about here, about an inch up or so, and that's right about where the water level is as well. It's right up to about here, so it comes up to about an inch in the pebbles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the pot out from the arrow garden and throw it in here. Right now there's hardly any pebbles in, so they're actually kind of floating, but I'm going to coil the roots up in here and throw it in and then fill the whole top in with uh, more clay pebbles. Hopefully this doesn't end up a disaster video of how I ruined my nice big green pepper plant because this is definitely the biggest of them all and it's uh, got peppers started on it already right now. Oh, there we go, there's the roots. Now I'm trying to be careful at the top, bring the whole thing up. It's all kind of lopsided and intertang intertwined and everything because it's uh, an arrow garden and there's way too much in the arrow garden. Here's more clay pebbles. Um, I boiled them all in uh, nice hot water to make sure there's nothing living in them. Now, here's what I had to do to the other ones that I transplanted as well. Aero Garden recommends that you don't, well not even Aero Garden, but pretty much anybody recommends that you don't ever cut off any more than 25% of the plant. 
that's uh, down below and up above. No more than 25% of the roots and no more than 25% of the top of the plant. However, when I pull them out of the air garden, they are such an ugly mess. They're leaning all over the place because they've all been leaning up against each other and they've grown in and you get huge branches that grow around and stuff. So I usually end up having to clip off quite a bit. But they, I haven't lost a plant yet. They always seem to make it. See what I mean? It's so top heavy. This happens every time I pull one out of the air garden. They're always really top heavy like this. Try and clip some weight off here without cutting off too many uh, flowers. Part of the reason it's lopsided like this too is because the way I had the arrow garden was actually leaning up against the mirror, so the mirror gave it support. They could just grow up against the mirror. So what I think I might do is leave it about there and uh, drop a string down and hold it up for a little while until it can support itself. I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll spin the plant around to this side so that the light is hitting this side and wants to grow up more this side. I'll have this side and the darker side up against the wall. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.